Well, we all know about viruses, right? We've all experienced COVID. But there's lots of other viruses that we don't necessarily hear so much about. And you've all heard about bacteria. There's bacteria everywhere. There's bacteria in the oceans. Um, there's bacteria in soil. And very many of them actually do very good things that, that help us and help us grow food and, and grow crops. So, so what we're doing with metagenomics is trying to understand the bacteria and the viruses that are all around us and how they interact and how we can use those to make, uh, to grow better crops or to improve our health. Of course, we know bacteria and viruses cause diseases. And so we're also trying to prevent some of those diseases and come up with new ways of curing diseases. So hi everybody, I'm Rob Edwards from Flinders University in Adelaide, Australia. And I'm here today with Metagenomics Australia. One of the things that we work on a lot is antimicrobial resistance. It's a really big problem because of the overuse of antibiotics. There are now bacteria that are resistant to all of the antibiotics that we have um, to try and treat them. So we're coming up with different ways of um, of killing those bacteria and providing new treatments for, for us, but also for farm animals, for our companion animals, um, and also for crops and things like that. So we're doing all of these innovations through massive amounts of DNA sequencing. So just like we did with COVID, um, where we sequence the genomes of, of COVID virus, we can do that with bacteria and we can do that with viruses in soil. The way that we do it is we take a sample, we extract all the DNA and we sequence it. And then we use really big computers like the one here at Pawsey to try and understand what all of that DNA sequencing is telling us. And we're trying to, to build new ways to analyze those DNA sequences so that we can help everybody in Australia and worldwide understand what bacteria and viruses are doing and how we can use them um, to make a better world. The team that we have working on this project are some of the smartest minds in bioinformatics. And we've developed a lot of the code and we're using code that's been developed by people all over the world. But that code, it hasn't been optimized to run on supercomputers. And so we got to get together with the Pacer team so that we could lean on their expertise in applying the great bioinformatics software that we have to the supercomputer technology. Supercomputers have their own little nuances that we need to understand. And we didn't know those until we came to Pacer, until we teamed up with the Pacer team, until we worked side by side with them to improve our code and to improve the code of other people um, to make it go faster and to make it run on Cetonix. And so that's why we're at the Pacer Conference this week to try and understand the latest innovations, the latest technology, and how we can apply those to analyze these DNA sequences that we're getting from all over the world.